In this video, I want to demonstrate how to build an event snippet using structured data. This is for everyone who works with events a lot. Hey and welcome back, nice to have you in the fourth lesson of module 3 of my structured data training. I am Florian, the developer of SNP, the rich snippets and structured data plugin for WordPress. If you want to use the plugin, please feel free to follow the link that you can find in the description area. In this video, I want to show you how an event snippet is built. You hopefully took all the lessons from the previous modules. If not, please jump back to the beginning or to a video where you think you need to refresh your knowledge. In this video, it's important that you have understood what structured data is and what rich snippets are. You need to know how and where you can find the right schema classes as well as their properties to create an event schema. Let's jump right in. As always, we open up the event page on Google's reference to see a how a rich snippet for an event may look like in search results, b what you should do and should not do, and be really serious about that. If you do violate Google's policies, that means the technical as well as the content guidelines, your markup might not show up in search results. And c last but not least, what properties are totally necessary and which ones are just recommended. This is the page where you find this document. Look it up, read through and then follow me to the next page. As always, Google uses structured data from schema.org. On schema.org slash event, you can find all properties that are possible for this schema type. However, as you could see on Google's reference page, you don't need every single property listed there. You only need the required ones to get a rich snippet in search results. However, I highly recommend to add as much properties as you can. I will explain later why I recommend this procedure. On schema.org, an event is a creative work, which is a thing. If you don't know what I'm talking about right now, please go back to the module one of my structured data training. It will be explained in full detail how schema.org is structured. As you can see here, an event has a few child schemas that you can also use. Search engines understand that all of them are children of the mother schema named event. So if you want to use the festival schema because you think it fits best for your purpose, please feel free to use it. Search engines also have a deep understanding of all the schemas found on schema.org. So they understand that the festival schema is an event too. As you can see here, the event schema and all of its child schemas can have dozens of properties. However, you don't need every single one to get a real snippet in search results, as I said before. But as always, you can add more if you can fill the properties properly. I'm sure that Google and other search engines will mark more and more properties as mandatory in the future because they did this a lot during the last month. To keep this video as short as possible, I will stick with the recommended ones. Alright, let's get started. In the video, I will use the built-in generator in SNP, my rich snippets and structured data plugin for WordPress. If you don't have the plugin, please feel free to use the structured data generator on my website to follow the video instructions. The free generator does not have all the features the built-in generator has, so it might be that you get stuck at some point, especially when it comes to global snippets that allow you to automate structured data generation. Let's begin. I am now in the WordPress dashboard, specifically in the global snippets menu here. As you may know from one of the previous videos, global snippets allow you to create one snippet and attach it to every post defined by certain rules. So in my case, I want to create uh, one global snippet and attach it to all my event posts. As you can see, I have, sep I have a separate post type called events that I use on this WordPress site. Snip comes uh, shipped with some predefined global snippets that are ready to use for certain purposes. For example, the product snippet that you can use if you are working with WooCommerce a lot. Unfortunately, there is no event snippet right now, but I'm sure that this will be added in the near future as well. 
Because there is no global snippet for events, I need to create one. For this, I click on the Add New Global Snippet button here on the top. Now, first of all, I enter a title. It doesn't matter what you enter here because it's just used for internal purposes. I will just enter event. Second, you can click the event button here to show the plugin that the main thing should be the event schema. Snip then intelligently loads some properties that you might need. Of course, it can be that you don't need everything here. In this case, you can always delete uh, or down below search for another property that has not yet been added. Before we start filling everything with values, we need to look up what properties are required for Google to get a rich snippet in search results. For this, I have opened up the page in a second tab already. When you scroll down, you see a table that lists all required properties. And down below, you can see all recommended properties. We will see later that missing properties that are required will produce a red error message on Google's structured data test tool. Whereas missing properties that are just recommended will produce just an orange warning. Okay, let's go back to our global snippet. Because Google's reference says that we only need the location, the name and the start date property, I will delete the other ones for now. However, as I said before, you should, if you can, add as much properties as possible, as it might be that Google changes the list of required properties in the future. And if they do this, Google Structured Data Test Tool would produce an error, and if you miss it, your rich snippets would disappear. So to be prepared, you should fill as much as you can. To keep the video short, I will stick with the three properties and just delete the other ones. Now I switch back to the reference to see what values Google expects for properties or for the required properties. I can read from the table that the location here should be a nested place schema. The table also says that the address property within the place schema is required. I can also see that the nested address property within the place property needs the following properties. Um, street address, address locality, etc. For the name, Google expects just normal text. And for the start date, either a date time schema or way easier, just the specific time in a specific format. I have decided to just use a normal text value for the date. I mark this property as overridable so that I can change its value in each post separately. The name of the event should be my post title. So I choose post title here. And for the location property, we need a nested schema and that is the place. So I'm searching for the place. The plugin does then load all the properties we need and we have to mark them as overridable as well as the address is different for every event. So I open up overridable for each property. Now everything is done, only one step is missing. We need to choose where this global snippet should appear. And as I said before, I want to use it on all of my event posts. So I choose post type is equal to events. That's it. I will save this or publish it directly. 
Now we need to make sure we can edit global snippet values on our custom post types or custom post type. So I go to snip and oops, snip settings and I select events here as well. Don't forget to save your changes. Okay, then I go to events. And as you can see, I have prepared one event already. If I open it up, you can recognize very quickly where and when this event takes place. However, for search engines, it's not that easy because all this data is not in a machine readable format. That's why we need to output structured data in the source code of the page, only for the search engines. To do that, you can click on the global snippets button on the right side, or you can also find it here down below. This will then open up a new window and you can find, or we can find our just newly created event on the left side and then we click on it. This will then load all properties that we have marked as overridable. Now I've filled all the values. You should read through the descriptions for each property to learn how the values should look like. The descriptions are from schema.org and they tell you that, for example, the address country uh, must be in the typical two-letter format we all know. So for Germany, that would be DE. After that, we save our settings. Close this window. And yeah, update this post again. Now we can head over to Google's Structured Data Test Tool and enter the URL of our newly created event post here. Because I'm on a test site that is not reachable from the internet, I need to copy and paste the generated code manually. Okay, and I run the test. Oops lots of errors but that's good because you can now learn how errors are fixed let's go through it quickly google says that the, the street address address country uh, address region and so on uh, is net not recognized by google for an object of type place what went wrong if we check the reference page again you can see that I have used the wrong properties on the wrong schema. The place needs a property named address and this property needs to be a postal address schema but on my snippet it's totally different. So let's open up our global snippet again. I edit the event and now place is right but the properties are wrong so I delete them and I'm searching for address and the address must be the postal postal address So now I have the same properties again, make them overridable again. And now, as you can see, we have the structure Google wants to see. The location property is now a place and the address property is a postal address. All right, update. I now need to edit the structure here again. All right, save the settings. And then 
check it again. After rerunning the test again, the errors on the address went away. However, we still have some errors left or warnings. If you paid attention, if you paid attention on the video, you maybe saw that I have included the end date instead of the start date. So I need to correct this as well. When we check the reference again, you can see that the start date is a required property. So I go back to global snippets and edit the event snippet again. And I'm now searching for the start date. I click on it, on it will edit. And I just do one thing, I mark this as overridable again. Update, then I go again back to my event and edit my snippet. I will delete the end date because I don't want the end date to appear and I add the start date instead. Save. So I paste the new code run the test again and now the error errors went away but we still have uh, warnings as I've mentioned before warnings are not errors they do not prevent your snippet from creating a rich snippet in search results however you should add a value to these properties if you can sometimes that's not possible that's why the tool says Please provide a value if available. All right, let's sum everything up what we have learned in this video. At the time of the making of this video, the event snippet shows up a list of events found on the page. Each event shows the name, the date and the venue of the event. I have explicitly mentioned the festival schema in this video, but the event schema has a lot more child schemas that you can also use. To find the right properties, use Google's reference pages to learn more what you should and should not do. Use schema.org to integrate more properties. I totally recommend to use as many properties as po possible. Automate as much as you can by setting up a global snippet as shown in this video using Snip, My Rich Snippets and Structured Data Plugin. In the next video, I will show you how to create a product snippet that is especially interesting for everyone who sells products on websites. See you in a bit.